Hey guys, welcome to the VHF UHF channel. And I thought that, uh, you know what, I on the shortwave bands, for those that are part of my shortwave channel, you might have noticed that I actually do a series of what if I only had one radio and, you know, I use different shortwave receivers that I have. Well, I thought today maybe we could do a similar type of uh, video here on the VHF UHF and the what if I only had one radio? Well, we'll uh, start with this 30 channel Uniden Burkett scanner and see if it actually uh, works well. So, this is the BC60 XLT and it has it goes from 29 megahertz all the way up to 512. So it's a um, VHF low, VHF high, and UHF up to 512, which was typical of the scanners, the cheaper scanners at the time. Uh, and of course, we will be uh, tuning around and checking out. Does uh, an old style scanner like this, is it still useful today? Can I still get some signals and hear stuff? Uh, that's going to be, I think, very interesting to, um, to, to check out and see if we can actually... Uh, dish out interesting analog signals because of course this is an old scanner that I will actually clean up because it's full of dust. Uh, this is an old analog scanner so no digital stuff in here for sure but there's still some stuff to listen to on the bands and we'll go through and I'll actually fill up these channels with different signals that I'll be actually hearing while I'll scan the VHF UHF range. So uh, today's uh, there'll, there'll be a series of what if on this uh, VHF channel and of course it will be what if the only radio I had was this little handheld scanner. Uh, the details of this scanner, I purchased this on eBay maybe five or six years ago. A uh, guy was selling it for, it was very inexpensive, it was like, I, I, I think with shipping I paid something like 20 bucks. And that made me want to get it because it was very cheap. And I thought, well, why not? 20 bucks and get another radio. And it was an older style scanner and I found it interesting. Uh, you know, I like to use these older scanners sometimes to uh, just fill them up with some important frequencies that I want to tune around. And, um, you know, so if I want to listen, for example, right now it has all the um, local Quebec, Sorti du Quebec law enforcement frequencies. And uh, also a couple of maritime frequencies in here. So, you know, it's a quick radio to just, um, if I don't want to start, you know, scanning around, tuning around too much, I'll use this and actually it's already pre-programmed with my favorite channels. So, uh, this is, uh, it was used and it was only $20 because the guy said it didn't work. And uh, finally it did work, it's just that the battery compartment had a loose wire. And so I just uh, soldered the wire back and it started working. Uh, it's very interesting because it works well with um, alkaline batteries, but uh, the funniest part is that you can't, uh, it doesn't run when I put rechargeables. It seems like the rechargeables don't give it enough power to actually run correctly. So today, my what if radio on this channel, this old 30 channel Brickat scanner. Hope you enjoy the videos that we'll be posting with some of the reception and uh, you know, what I've been, my personal observations basically of using an older scanner to listen today. 